Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 24th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and volcanoes, and give you an update from all events around our planet and our solar system. Looking here the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms in the sun, Two small but not very active sunspot regions getting ready to, for Earth facing. As well, departing region there. We did have a small backside CME erupt. You can't really see it through these images, but you can see it on the Lasco two and three images. Just observing here, too, in the southwestern region on the sun. Another active cresting in incoming sunspot. So we could have about five or six sunspots right now around the sun. Three included on the front here and a couple in the back. Still looking at that equatorial coronal hole. Not very large. And we are receiving already the coronal hole and small grazing CME from the other day. Looking here at another image, you can really see that large plasma filament stretching across the southern hemisphere of the sun. Looking here at Lasco 2 image, you can see backside CME. If it was an Earth-facing CME, you would see a full corona. So meaning all of that activity, you would see all around that dark blue ring if it was in an Earth-facing CME, just so you know. But that is a pretty large ejection indeed. And as well, thanks to Lurkface, give a shout out to him. He pointed out sun diving comet heading into the sun. Last few images there on Lasco 3, you can really see it. Again, thanks to all of the Duke crew members for all of your help in streams. Speaking of stream, looking at the real time solar wind stream. We are sitting at 430 kilometers per second and still going down slowly. And planetary K index for the three hour data, we're still at a low. But the Schumann resonance for today, look at this, a triple spike. Now I've not seen this in my, what, I don't know. I've only been reporting on the Schumann's resonance for about three months, maybe four months. Yeah, pretty sizable spike and very definitive signatures there in that large first one I just zoomed in on. And just recently, a blackout. So, power of 39, quality of 18, frequency max of 8.26. So that triple spike, you may have felt that in your hearts, in your mind, in your body. Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a look at earthquakes last 24 hours. Most recent here, 2.5 in Utah. And as well, Milford, Utah, 2.6, 2.5 today. California seeing earthquakes too as well. 4.0 reported here, California. And as well, Ridgecrest, California. Sierras Valley seeing earthquakes as well. White City, New Mexico still seeing a swarm there. 2.7 there in Oklahoma. And as well, the border with Canada here, 2.8. California or Canada, 2.8. And that's just off of Vic Victoria Island. And if you wanted to see more information, you can see here Earthquakes Canada. 
at a 20 kilometer depth. That's a pretty deep earthquake for that region as well observing a couple small microquakes right into the Saint Laurent chain, Quebec. Still pretty active the last 30 days, even through USGS. Seeing these most recent quakes, you gotta wonder what's up across the North America right now. Most recent there, 3.3 reported. And what's up with Yellowstone? Still small microquakes, but more in the past right now so no big concern for Yellowstone let's continue continue on with earthquakes around the world 4.9 here in Guatemala 35 kilometer depth 3.7 Dominican Republic 2.7 3.7 action coming back there as well as South America 4.2 that's not Japan 4.2 in Peru 64 kilometer depth as well San Antonio's de la Cobras 3.9 pretty deep earthquake for that region 225 kilometer depth as we are going through some great changes on the planet right now massive eruptions at Etna overnight and continual eruption in Iceland 4.6 earthquake to report here Dominican Republic of Congo as well at 4.1 here in Algeria, 81 kilometer depth, quiet across Iceland, of course, a lot of the energy going out of the volcano. 5.4, that was reported yesterday, China, Aksu, 4.4 here in Banda Sea, Indonesia. That's right by the Barren Island volcano as well, 4.9 here in Indonesia, 574 kilometer depth. That is a pretty deep earthquake for this region and too close to a tall volcano. 4.4, 4.6 reported here, Japan. Small 3.3, Adak, Alaska. And as well, Hawaii, looking at minor earthquakes continuing across the whole island, Mauna Loa, and as well, Kilauea. 4.4 reported here, 339 kilometer depth, Fiji, so quiet through the Kermadec, and Indonesia, that deep earthquake. Stay aware and prepared, expecting a large earthquake, most likely through the North American plate, or possible Central America, within the next 24 hours. I may be wrong, but I'm just saying that there is a possibility after these deep quakes in these regions. A lot of volcanic activity happening across the planet, reporting now 47 active and erupting, but over 150 that are showing unrest. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by earthquakes worldwide throughout time and throughout the future. Prayers for humanity. Just have a plan. And that's what this channel is all about. No fear here. Stay aware and prepared. Especially Europe. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center as, yeah, there were many tornado warnings popping off throughout Texas today. Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, about three tornado warnings. And as well through San Angelo, Texas. Austin, Texas, San Antonio. No confirmations just yet, but that is still a very large system that is affecting most of the United States. And you can see that long arm of moisture stretching straight across the East Coast right now. That's why we're seeing flooding conditions continue across the coast. But Carolina's, Carolina coastlines right now are lucky they did not have a hurricane on their doorstep. Now, there was a deep lower level trough here hanging off the coastline for the last few days, producing cloud and getting a little bit stronger, but really didn't have enough energy to form a hurricane. But it did go into the coastline, and then there was a convergence of moisture, hence the flooding through Philadelphia and up into New York City. Throughout the day today, they had torrential downpours and will continue overnight. 
to a lot of flooding reports across the United States. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected and as well affected by tornadoes. No major cyclones or hurricanes to talk about. Just a very electric uh, atmosphere right now. Many storms across the planet. Many lightning strikes across the planet. And we're set to see those increase over the next little while. Let's have a look at our five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. As yes, we do have a system that's going to affect us right now and bring about three to five centimeters of snow overnight. It's eight degrees right now, but it will be minus three behind the system. But then watch later in the week, quite a nor'easter for Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia, PEI, New Brunswick. You all will be affected by these next three systems in the five day forecast. One of them will be very, very strong in the long range forecast. So stay aware and prepared. My East Coast Canadian friends, Atlantic Coast, be ready. You do have a pretty big storm on your doorstep. And you can see a lot of rain is going to be falling across the eastern United States. Very strong, tight isobars here. Very windy and stormy event for my Canadian friends and family. Thoughts and prayers to you. As well across western Canada and the United States. Watch for high pressure ridge to build in. And then thwart this massive low pressure system from the Pacific into the BC coastline you will have a pretty much a rainy event from uh, Saturday onward but then watch Monday into Tuesday as this big low enters Alberta most likely will bring some snow to most of BC and Alberta so yeah snow for the east coast snow for the west coast winter still ain't over Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge continues to dominate the low pressure system and push it east through the Mediterranean. Low pressure system here over the United Kingdom, going to bring a lot of rain and mixed precipitation across parts of Ireland and eastward into Finland and Sweden. Central Europe starting to warm up. Maybe some spring-like conditions. I'm not sure of what you guys are really used to at this time of the year. Overlooking Africa, no major systems to talk about. Daily evaporation rains, of course, continue. Watching for heavy snow through northern India and Turkey, parts of Mongolia. As that low pressure system finally moves eastward and most likely will head into the Pacific Ocean to make another round around the planet. There's at least three or four low pressure systems that are doing that right now. Very strong, deep, lower level troughs. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. No major systems to talk about. No cyclones, typhoons. Overlooking Australia. Moisture moving into northern part of the continent and central regions later in the week into southeast. Cool as well through southeast Australia over the next week. As well, watch over New Zealand as the system that just left Australia is going to affect you guys as well. You've got about two to three days of rain as this system moves from southward to north and then another low pressure system heads in so you could see a lot of rain throughout new zealand as well hawaii dry conditions persisting high pressure ridge building in but then watch we could have later in the week quite a mess for the bc coastline as this system comes in we're gonna have to watch for the wave heights and everything with these systems over the next little while watch for an uptick in seismicity through Alaska 
heavy snow through BC and possible heavy snow through Alberta. Stay tuned for another forecast. I'm going to leave you here looking at the major systems affecting the Northern Hemisphere. Thanks for watching today. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.